poster artist, it will begin with a blank template. From there, you can either add in your own objects and photos, or you can go to the drop down category list and choose a PSS template. To choose that template, you'll just double click and it will open it up. Then you can go to number two page options and choose your size. Your page size again should be either your A1 full size or A2 half size. You can choose other sizes, especially if you're gonna add in a cut sheet instead of the roll of paper. You can also set a custom size if you would like a banner. Under number three edit, you can add in photos. You can either choose from the categories or you can add and replace your own photos. You can also add in clip art from the clip art gallery or you can add your own. If you'd like to change the color of your clip art, you can click on the clip art color icon at the bottom. You can also choose custom colors. Next, you'll have text. To add in your text, you'll hit the T button and click and drag to add it in. Once you have your text in there, you can change the fonts, the alignments, the text colors, and you can even create bubble letters. If you click on a text that you've added in, you can add text graphics and attach them to that text. Next, you have shapes. You can add in any of these shapes by clicking and dragging to add them in. If you're looking for a shape that is not in the software, you can easily bring those in from outside sources. You can even copy and paste from Google Images. Next, you'll have backgrounds. You can change the background of any already created template, and you can change the background colors. Next, you'll go to number four, print. If you'd like to, you can select multiple copies. To save time, you can uncheck this print preview box and it will go ahead and print for you once you hit print. It's automatically gonna be set on standard print quality. If you're using a thicker material such as canvas, vinyl, repositionable paper, or magnetic, change it to high so that way it's a much smoother finish on that thicker material. You can save your completed template into Poster Artist by going to number one, select template and clicking add to templates. From there, you can add it to different categories or you can create your own categories. To learn how to do more advanced features such as using free layout, you can find those tutorials on our YouTube channel or you can join a webinar. You can also download the free version of this software on any Windows computer using our blog. To sign up for webinars and fully learn how to use the system, including the new Magic Cutter, just go to go.pss.co slash webinars. This will have all the links and updated information.